Hey, hey guys, what's going on? Today's episode, I'm gonna be talking about how to start a YouTube channel. I get asked this question all the time about the equipment and, and software and things like that, so I thought I'd make a little video on how you go about setting up your YouTube channel and how you really get started creating a YouTube channel. So, the very first thing you're gonna need is you're gonna need some basic equipment. Uh, what I use a lot when I'm out filming is just, just this right here, my phone, right? My phone works really good. Uh, what you'll wanna do though is you're gonna wanna upgrade the microphone on this. And what I use is I use this little Levier. Uh, don't know if I'm saying that right or not, but this little microphone, it's a little wireless thing. It clips right into uh, you know, my phone. If you have an Apple phone, they make a uh, some kind of uh, like uh, adapter for it, but it clips right in there. And then what you'll do is you'll go ahead and you'll put this right on your clip it right here, and you'd be surprised at how well this actually sounds uh, compared to your regular microphone. Another thing you'll want to do is get one of these little tripods so that you can put your phone in there and then get this little thing that comes with it usually that little clips your phone right in there so then you can hold your phone right out like this as you're walking around talking to your camera creating these videos uh those are two things or three things that you definitely want to have one you probably already do have and that's your phone and then the second thing you want to do is you want to make sure that you get some kind of editing software some people use a vid io uh what i use is i use camtasia uh that is what that is an actual program that you download onto your computer and i also do have photoshop or not photoshop but adobe premiere i don't really use that too much anymore for uh the basic editing that you do you you can get a basic editing software like camtasia and just be completely fine doing doing it that way the third thing you're gonna want to need though is you're gonna need to get some kind of software to create your own thumbnails uh, after you've been doing it a while you'll probably outsource your thumbnails to somebody that you'll find on like fiverr.com or upwork something like that but until then you're gonna want to create your own thumbnails especially when you're first starting off you'll probably create them yourself and what I use is I use PicMonkey or Canva for that uh, you can also get Adobe uh, Photoshop or Illustrator if you're really uh, good at editing. Uh, but those are kind of more geared towards professionals. So PicMonkey or Cam Canva is going to work just fine for you. And there's some basic uh, rules of thumb that you want to follow when you're creating your thumbnail. One is you want to have a picture of yourself in the thumbnail. Usually you want to have it to be about a third of the size of the, the picture uh, and then you want to have text uh, bigger text so that they can read it because a lot of these thumbnails as they're scrolling you know they can't read really super small text because they're usually looking at it on their phone so make sure you have some big uh, text on there and some uh, catchy colors you know and a good thing to do is the video that you're creating search it up on YouTube and see what the other thumbnails that have a lot of views kind of what they look like and get some inspiration from them don't copy them because you want to be your own brand your own person and fourthly what you want to do is you want to put together a content schedule you want to stay consistent uh you want to make sure that you're posting regularly every week uh commit to something that you can follow through with right i've i've set many of these before and i just can't stick to them because you have everything else going on in your real estate business or in your regular business where you just can't produce like four or five videos a week for an entire year because this is something that yes you're going to see some return on this kind of quickly probably within the first two to three months i would say but for your channel really to grow it's going to be a year two years down the road you know and then you're going to really be able to uh monetize which brings me to my fifth thing is monetization you can monetize your YouTube channel, once you have a thousand subscribers and 4,000 hours of watch time in a 12 month period. And when I first started with YouTube, it was a lot less than this. Uh, so that may change by the time you watch this video. It just depends uh, when you watch this video. But right now, that's the rules. And the sixth thing that you want to do is you want to make sure that you set aside like at least an hour to film a video. After you've been doing this a while, you can probably do it in 30 minutes or less. But 
at first you want to make sure that you set aside at least an hour for recording I did make a video on the six videos that you need to make as a real estate agent I'm gonna put a link to it uh, in the description of this video but once you get rolling and you get things flowing you'll be able to create this content pretty quickly okay and what you'll do is you'll come up with a topic and what I do is I put some bullet points and make sure you have them like on note cards or on a piece of paper somewhere so that you can look down get to you know if you lose place where you are in that video you can quickly go back you make sure you hit this point this point this point and it just continues on and that's why you need that video editing software number seven is going to be uploading your videos you're going to want to make sure you have a catchy title don't uh, make it exactly like your thumbnail because you have two chances of people clicking on your video to watch it one is going to be your thumbnail two is going to be the title of your video so make it a little slightly different make sure you do a little research on what people are searching for on YouTube use a tool called uh, vidIQ is a really good one uh, or TubeBuddy uh, vidIQ has more free features I do believe last time I checked uh, but those are two great 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 features uh, or uh, tools to use for to search to see what people are looking for on YouTube you can also use tools like keywords anywhere as well that's uh, geared more towards what people are actually searching up on the internet not just on YouTube okay you can also get good ideas on ask the public uh, you can go in there and type a question you can see all the questions that people are asking related to that question that you typed in number eight goes right along with what I was just talking about and you want to make sure that you have you need some video ideas and that's really where you're gonna to go to vidIQ and uh, TubeBuddy to really get those video ideas to make sure that you're making videos on what people are searching for number nine is you're gonna to want to or number nine is you want to make sure that you're gonna be consistent okay you make sure that you're at least uploading w one video a week uh, and what you do is you kind of set aside one day at the beginning of the month record four videos for that entire month okay that way you have them all set up you can send them out to your editor you can get them back you can upload them or when you're just starting off you're probably going to be doing all that yourself and number 10 is once you've made that long video that five ten minute long video you can then chop it up into bit bite-sized pieces that you can then leverage across different platforms you can cut them into minute long videos maybe uh, get the key points and then upload it as a reel on uh, Instagram you can do it on TikTok. Uh, you can just use that one piece of content to create videos across multiple channels so if you got anything out of this video be sure to hit that subscribe button remember there is that free guide if you would like put that uh, free guide in the comment section below and if you have any questions feel free to reach out talk to you guys next week bye for now